Welcome back, Electro Beast here. Today we're gonna to fire up the Igloo build and just take a quick look, see what it's about, see what it's got, show you around, and you can make up your mind as to whether you like it, whether you don't like it, whether you want to install it, whether you don't want to install it. So here goes. So the Igloo build, I installed this through the Felves Wizard. I'll put some details below for the Felves Wizard. You can take a quick look and see some instructions on how to get that repo. But um, yeah, I've had a little scan through and I decided to take a look at the Igloo build because few people have recommended that I review it, a few people have said they quite like it, so um, we're going to see what it's about. Very similar to previous builds that we've had a look at, uh, sort of reminds me of the Beast build, looks a little bit like the Doug's build, uh, where it's very similar. So what I quite like initially up here, which you find on a lot of builds recently, is the um, tab where you can just kind of have a quick select. So you've got the movies tab, you can have a quick select on latest films, popular movies and things like that. Um, really enjoy this feature just because it saves you a kind of, you know, if you don't know what you're looking for, if you don't know what you actually want to watch, you can just have a quick scan, see what's here. Normally it's the latest box office films. Um, and you can take it from there. You've obviously got some classics in there as well. So you've got things like The Lion King, uh, what was there, Wolf of Wall Street, Just Saw Shawshank, Harry Potter. So you've got things like that. but. Um, you know, at the start you did have some quite new recent films, Utopia, Finding Dory, Ghostbusters and things like that. So that's great. Uh, underneath the Movies tab, if you have a quick look down, you've got your usual suspects. So you've got Exodus, Salts, The Royal Wii and Spectu. All really good add-ons and uh, they're all great for movies. So great start there. Click onto the TV Shows tab. Very similar, you've got your thumbnails up here where you can see some of the latest TV shows than the most popular TV shows on TV. So you've got Stranger Things, Game of Thrones, Mr. Robot, The Night of, Orange is the New Black and things like that. Uh, Suits, which is brilliant. You've got Grey's Anatomy, Breaking Bad. You've got Pretty Little Liars, Gilmore Girls, which perhaps that's just trending because they've announced they're doing a new series of that. Great if you watch that sort of thing. Personally, I don't, but you've got Ballers, Ray Donovan, Powers. You've got some brilliant HBO content in there as well. So that's all really good stuff. You can't complain about any of that. Again, you can have a quick scan through. They're going to show you what you want and you can have a look down. So if we go under the TV shows tab, we've got again Exodus, Salts, Royal Wee, Spectu. Um, again, all of those really good, brilliant stuff. M4U, AK47, Cypher TV, TV Mix, UK Turks. Um, so again, brilliant content and um, have a scan through. You'll find what you like, what works for you, what you like, what you don't like, and you'll have no issues there whatsoever. So again, brilliant stuff, um, handy links, and it's all really good stuff. Really simple, this build actually, quite um, slick. It's not too overpowering, quite like the colors, they pop really nice. Um, live TV sections, what have we got here? UK TV Now, which is really good. It's got a nice selection of TV channels. Cosmics, Phoenix TV, can be a bit hit or miss, Phoenix TV. Um, got live TV player, you've got your BBC player, so um, can't complain about that whatsoever. Sky Movies tab. Not a massive fan of the Sky Movies. I mean, I guess what's really good about this is that if you're used to live TV and you're used to um, having Sky and having things like Sky Drama, Disney, comedy, action, family, and all that kind of stuff, then I guess it's really good. But for me personally, I just prefer to search what I want and just have a quick browse. Um, but if you go up here, Not a massive selection up here. It's okay, not massively impressed by that particular tab. Now the Sky Sports tab, that could be really handy. SD and HD channels. I'm assuming that's all live TV, BT, uh, the Euros bit out of date now I guess because Euros are over um, but that's quite actually you know thinking back to it that's actually not a bad um, thing to have because you a lot of people want their sports and to have your Sky Sports and your BT Sports on the home page um, 
where you can scroll down and just check individual channels. It's actually a pretty good function. So, um, you know, I kind of take that back. It's um, quite handy to have that there. Um, again, Euros could probably do without that. You know, we're done now. Um, sports Mix, so that's all your usual Sports Devil, UK Turk Sports and things like that. So that's your usual mix of um, live TV channels. There, live news, never seen that on a build before. How many people really want to use that? I don't know, but I guess that might, I guess there are some people out there so that's going to be quite handy for, but for myself personally, if I want to, you know, I've got a TV downstairs and I've got free view and if I want to watch the news, I'll use that with sort of load up Cody for it. So, um, kind of a bit of a waste of a tab there to be honest, just in my opinion, but if you like it, you like it, that's great. Um, Phoenix, we all know about what Phoenix is about, best movies around, uh, brilliant amount of content on there, um, so that's all really great stuff. Evolve, again, I need to explore Evolve a bit more and I think I'm going to do a separate video on add-ons um, at a later date and I definitely use Evolve because I'm not massively familiar with it. I had a, a very quick scan through before and what seemed to be there was impressive but I didn't actually use it as such so that's definitely one uh, along with Phoenix that I'm looking forward to doing a couple of reviews on, um, on particular add-ons rather than the actual builds. Okay, Kids TV, we've got our CBBC, we've got our CBBs, Nick Jr. and things like that. All really great stuff. Um, I'm sure you'll find lots of content for your kids. Myself, personally, when it comes to kids sort of TV, I, I, I'm a Netflix subscriber, so I prefer, you know, uh, letting the little man watch things via Netflix. Um, or I've got, obviously, the iPlayer, so, you know, you can go through and look at things that way. So, for myself, personally, I'm not really into the whole Kids TV um, section so I'm gonna give that a skip but you know personally if you've got kids and you're happy to do that sort of thing have a look through seems to be quite a lot of links there uh, I'm sure you're gonna find stuff for the kids to watch music and radio okay so you've got your SoundCloud add-on you've got your YouTube add-on and things like that which can be quite handy Again, personally, I don't. I'm not massively into using SoundCloud and YouTube through a Kodi system. You know, I've got a computer, I've got a TV, and they have YouTube, you know, built in. So that's not massively for me. But again, in terms of variety, it's actually a pretty good thing to have, I guess. Uh, MP3 streams, used that before, really good. Um, so that's all good. Documentaries, let's have a look. Vahali has got one of the best documentary sections in the Cody land. You, that is just amazing, their documentary section. Um, so it's really good and handy to have a nice tab there. AK-47 documentaries, Vahalia documentaries. Uh, rock, boxing, conspiracy. So a lot of those I think are gonna be from the UK Turks section. Uh, so if you go to UK Turks, you'll normally find boxing, rock, sports, conspiracy, all those sort of things are normally um, all within that app. Stand-up comedy. Everyone loves the stand-up comedy show, so that's all really good. I'm sure there'll be plenty of content in there. Then you've got your maintenance. So you've got the Igloo Wizard, Fells Wizard, which is what we use to load this one up. Delete your cache in case you're getting any buffering issues or you're sort of running low on space. So that's great. And lastly, you've just got your add-ons. So video add-ons, music add-ons system add-on. So if you have a quick look in the video add-on section, it's a lovely, brilliant selection of add-ons there. Really good stuff. A lot of content. And you can always add some more. Overall, I think it's actually quite a nice build. 
I think especially if you're new to Cody as well, this is going to be a really good build for you. Um, it makes everything clear, very simple, um, and most of the things you want, you're going to be able to find on your, you know, on the tabs that you're looking for. Again, got your movie, got your TV, got your live TV, then you've got Sky Movies, Sky Sports, BT Sports, and things like that. So. Um, it caters for everyone really, it's got a good mix of movies, TV, sports, live TV and I can see why it's been suggested to me. So if you've got any comments feel free to like, feel free to dislike, feel free to subscribe, feel free to comment on this video, feel free to comment on this particular build, let me know what you like about the build, what you don't like about the build, anything I'm missing out that could be handy to anyone else who's looking to load up this build, put them in the comments below. Don't be shy, share the knowledge, let anybody else know. I'll let you be signing out, I'll be back with more tech, more reviews, more builds, more add-ons, more Cody. Peace.